I'm, I'm Felix Holst, um, CEO of Hackrod, uh, ex head of design for Hot Wheels, and I'm an artist. I, I've, I've always loved to paint cars. It's always been my uh, it's always been my hobby. Um, and recently, uh, I listed a painting on Bring a Trailer um, as a kind of charity thing for a friend of mine, John Benton. Um, and my intention was to raise a little bit of money to help him get back on his feet after a after after a, after a fire uh, destroyed half his business. Um, but the, the 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 response took me. Uh, by surprise, the, the the response from the from the Bring a Trailer community, um, it was the encouragement um, and the positive response for something which I always just seen as a hobby um, and something to kind of keep my mind calm as I as I as I go about my daily business, um, and so I was encouraged to to to, to do another one, do um, you know use my techniques to paint the thing that I love and, and really one of the things I love more than anything else in the world is, 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 is a Porsche 911. Um, and uh, the, the, the way that I paint allows me to bring things to life um, in a slightly unique way. Um, my, my life with Hot Wheels, my prior life with Hot Wheels um, was, was, was inspired by a lot of the a lot of the passion I had as a kid, I became a good executive because I was still in touch with the memories I had from being a kid. And of course, the big thing was picking up that Hot Wheels or Matchbox car from the shelf or the peg in a toy store. And the first thing you interact with is the packaging, is the, those old illustrations from the 60s and 70s and the 80s. Um, and how dynamic those hand painted illustrations of Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars were. Um, and that's something which um, that's something which really informs me in my art, and it's something that I try to bring to life and apply to uh, very real um, subject matter, but also bring that little bit of fantasy um, and excitement. Um, and there's a little bit of like, you know, '60s trash romance novel or spy novel, and there's a little bit of science fiction art. Um, but and there's a little bit of graffiti. I, I, I cut stencils and I use stenciling in my art, um, and I try to bring all of these things together to, 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 to put an image together that is both dynamic, um, that, that reflects well on the subject matter. Uh, you know, if you're painting a race car, you don't want it to look like it's standing still. Um, but I also want to produce art that is modern and, and, and is different and looks good on a wall. And, and whether it's the way I lay paint down or whether it's the way that I've created the stencil or the image, I want it to look like it's alive, that it's in motion, um, and, and that it's modern, and that it's come from um, an urban or, 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 or a slightly looser, dirtier environment, that it's not just a kind of, you know, a precise tweed painting um, of, of a car. If you want that, you can, you can probably get it from quite a few brilliant artists who are not me. Uh, so. So with, with, with the last painting that, that, that I listed um, on Bring a Trailer, I, I, I really thought that we would, you know, put a painting up, some people would like it, and we'd sell it um, and, 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 and raise money for a good cause. Um, the, the encouragement that I received in the comments and, you know, the, the passions that it obviously instilled in people um, really was really exciting for me for me at a time to be honest at a time when i really needed a boost in terms of getting back to my primary skills um then then the encouragement and, and the passion that people showed for the work that i that i showed last time um inspired me gave me the confidence to do this again